Welcome to Rigor and Bond, free flowing in-depth conversation about whatever's appropriate at the time. We got a very, very, very special episode today. We have <laughs> restaurateur David Rodolitz of the NFT. Um, what's the word I want to use? Just NFT. paving the way, paving the way for this NFT business. Private dining club with NFTs. Yeah, definitely, definitely a pioneer in the space. Such an such a pleasure to have someone like you on the show. Happy to be here. Thank you. CEO and founder of VCR Group. Been oh. in restaurants for 20 years now, yeah? 20 plus years, that's right, in the hospitality industry. All in New York City or what? All in New York City, primarily. Right on. How, how did you, you start out, you said you started off with event building? Uh, event planning. I mean, I've been entrepreneurial my whole life, you know, pizza delivery guy, working at the local bowling alley when I was 13, just kind of always liked finding that way of, you know, putting in time and effort into something and, and getting, you know, a reward or, or compensation. I just like that interaction or relationship. And um, yeah, I was working from a young age. And um, when I went to college, I started an event planning company uh, at the University of Maryland and just planned a lot of different events and parties for the Greek life of University of Maryland and built a good business there doing it um, and just continue to do that throughout college and then throughout the summers in New York City. And, you know, the, the people that we knew um, all started to grow up and, and get a little bit older in New York and, and worked for different companies and um, started to reach out for different, you know, corporate events, social events. And, and we built this event planning company called Impulse Productions that's been around since 2002. Um, has some serious clients, Fortune 100 companies, Fortune 500 companies. I don't operate it day to day anymore, but um, Impulse was, you know, my first main business. Uh, and then, you know, that kind of segued into nightlife, marketing, promotions, owning and operating lounges, nightclubs and bars, um, just because I was very in tune with, you know, venues and vendors and uh, operating in, in the New York, you know, Manhattan marketplace. Um, and then late 20s just felt like, you know, that kind of hit a wall and wasn't a sustainable business to, you know, uh, you know, continue to do as I approached my 30s and tried to have a, a more uh, sustainable long term career and have a hopefully a, a, a strong and healthy, you know, marriage. <laughs> you know, it just felt like nightlife wasn't the, the best course for that. And at a similar time, met a, a very decorated chef named Alex Stupak, uh, who was looking to do his first solo restaurant. And we had a mutual friend that was looking to, um, you know, uh, get behind that and invest in that. And we formed and pay own group. And I owned an op. I co-founded and operated that for about eight and a half years. And, uh, you know, we have five stores, a couple under construction now. And I stepped away from the day to day a few years ago, and now I'm working on a bunch of other stuff. And I have a couple of amazing partners: Gary Vaynerchuk, um, Josh Capon, who's a very decorated chef, and then another decorated chef named Connor Hanlon. So we formed VCR Group, which is essentially just a modern day hospitality company that looks to leverage media and technology um, in all facets of the food and beverage industry. And we formed that early last year. And it's been off to the races ever since with a couple of different projects and Flyfish Club. And, you know, that's where we are now. 